Hello everybody, this is Noah. And this is Chase. And today we are going to be talking about legendaries in Clash Royale. To the, to the date, there are 12 legendaries in Clash Royale, and today we are going to be giving our opinions on all of them. So first off, we have the Log. The Log is, in my opinion, one of the best shooters in the game. Spells, sorry. I really like it. It does a great amount... Pretty good damage. It's a great counter to Princess, uh, Goblin Gang, Goblin Barrel, and Skeleton Army, and a whole bunch of other cards. Um, I use Log in my deck. It, I don't. It, well, it's a pretty good card because I think it's a pretty good card because it takes down pretty much any small troop, and also it pushes them back. I think it should be an epic though. Next card is the uh, Three Elixir Miner. I think that, and personally, Miner is my favorite legendary. I really like how it can go anywhere in the arena at any time. It is pretty much a mini tank, and I love using it. I like going, uh, I use Witch on defense, and then I'll put Miner right at the tower so to fun. tank for the Witch, and I think it's really good. I think Miner is also my, one of my favorite legendaries in the game. Because it can go anywhere on the map. It is just r really good. It is, I think, r like, it. I have it level 2. So I, that's, I use it in almost every deck I have. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, also, I like it because it's a great counter to uh, Elixir Collector as well. Um, next up, we have the 3 Elixir Princess. Princess. I think that Princess is a really good card. It is one of my favorite legendaries. I like how it can outrage anything because you can put it on the left side of the arena and it can shoot at the right side of the arena like as a defensive option and it can uh, whittle down the tower with some chip damage from your side of the arena as well. Yeah, I also like Princess because it can it has like so much range. It can shoot from the the bridge. Yeah, bridge. Um and then it gets a lot of chip damage, and you can make sure it doesn't get killed by putting like it on defense on the left side when there's troops on the right side. Okay, next up we have the four elixir lumberjack. I really like lumberjack. I think it's a fun card. I personally think it's not the best card, but it's a fun card. It has high damage, quick hit speed. I just wish it had more hit points. Yeah, I really like it. Um, because it is, has, does damage really quick, and also drops the rage at the end, which I think is very unique. Oh, I, yeah, I, I disagree with Noah on how it has barely any health. I just think it could have more. Oh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, well, yeah. Screw Noah. Okay, next up we have the Sixth Elixir Sparky. I think this is an awful card. It takes too long to hit. I wish it had a much quicker hit speed. I like how it has it's the it has the highest damage per shot though in the game. I like the Sparky too because I think it is really good. I use it in my regular deck that I use in regular battles. So, I think it does so much damage when it's and it's even, it's really good when you put it behind a witch. And next up, we have the Seven Elixir uh, Lava Hound. I think that this is a pretty bad card. It has a lot of hit points, and it's uh, great at starting pushes. But the Lava Hound, it does like, does, like, no damage. I think it does around 45 or 50 damage. Yeah. The Lava Pups have a good amount of damage, but they can be easily countered by arrows. <laughs> yeah. I like... I, I don't really like the Lava Hound because it does barely any damage, and it gets countered by, like anything really that shoots air yeah um it is really good it, the lava pups should i think the lava pups should be there have their own card yeah that would be cool like what almost like one elixir lava pups or something yeah um next up we have the three elixir ice wizard i don't really like ice wizard i know a lot of people think he's good um he doesn't he doesn't have a whole lot of hit points it's a, a decent <coughs> amount of hit points but not great he has like he does like no damage. I like the slowing down effect isn't great because he does no damage, and he has a slow hit speed. 
Yeah, I don't think he has m much health, and he is r does like barely any damage. He's pretty much a lava hound, but okay. with less health. Okay. Next up, we have Bandit. I really like Bandit. It's a fun card. It's a uh, fun to play with, uh, not to use. <laughs> Fun to play with, <laughs> not to eat. That's a Play-Doh commercial, everybody. Um, yeah, I, I like the dashing effect. I just don't. Th I don't think it's a great card, though. I I think Bandit is a really unique card because of her dash and how it can't be attacked while it's in the middle of dashing. I think that's really cool. Personally, though, I think it should be an epic. Then it would be used more often. Okay, next up we have Infernal Dragon, 4 Elixir Infernal Dragon. I don't really like Infernal Dragon. Um, he's really easy to counter. Like, he's only he's annoying when, like, the only good use for him is on defense. He's awful on offense. Unless you know that they just took away their yeah. only counter. It's hard for him to lock onto the tower, though. Yeah, true. Um, Infernal Dragon, it is not... I thought it was going to be good when it first came out. Yeah, same. But it turns out it was... it. Do, it's like... It just gets... And it doesn't even, like, one-shot a skeleton. Like... Well, once it gets more damage. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have the Four Elixir Electro Wizard. I think this is a great card. It has... Uh, its hit points are okay. They could be better, but they're enough. I like how he can consistently zap stuff. He's great with uh, a tank in front of him, and he has a good amount of damage. Yeah, but I like Electro Wizard now, but when it first came out, I thought it was going to be, like, the worst card in the game. So, it, I think it's better now. After that hit point buff? Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's really good now. Okay, next up we have... Uh, Four Elixir Night Witch. We already have gone quite in depth with this. I think it's an awful card. I don't mind Night Witch. It would be better if it was like splat. It did splash damage. Yeah. That then it would be really good. It would pretty much be a witch, actually. Yeah. I also wish it was ranged. Yeah. And finally, the last card we have is the Five Elixir Graveyard. I don't really like the graveyard myself. It's a pretty good card if you use it w well, but I think there's just too many counters to it. Like Valkyrie, Archers, Minions. Even Lumberjack. Yeah, Lumberjack's even a good counter to it. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't... Well, I don't mind Graveyard. I think it's good if you used it well. Like, if you were, like, this random person, and you just got it, and you were in Spell Valley, and you were like, huh, maybe I should just throw it, like... In the middle of the tower. Mm hmm yeah, yeah. Well, it would target the king tower. One of the skeletons would go over to the king tower and be like, la dee do I'm going to kill a king tower. Woohoo! There goes me! I'm dead! And I just wasted the game. Okay, that was very elaborate. Um, so that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not sure what we're going to do next. We might do another Clash Royale one. Or we'll see what you guys want. Brawl Stars. Yeah, Brawl Stars, uh, like the mentions. Um, we won't be my seeing to... monsters. Just depends what you guys want. We won't be able to do a video on Sunday, probably. Yeah, I may not get a video out on Sunday. I'm hoping to, but likely not. Okay, yeah. well, I guess I'll see you guys later. Wait, so... no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, right. Um, sponsored by Little Pizza Heaven, so make sure to go there. He was going to forget about that again. And by the way, it's in Winnipeg. Okay, bye.